Hey y'all, Pastor Stephen here from Guilford Park Presbyterian Church, hoping that you are having a wonderful week doing whatever it is that God is calling you to do in your discipleship journey this week. I want to invite you to join us for worship this upcoming Sunday on September 24th. This is our last stop in this three-week sermon series called No Fair, God's Idea of Fairness. Two weeks ago, we journeyed through uh, some of Jesus's teachings on how to deal with conflict. Last week, we talked about the importance of forgiveness and that really juicy parable of the unforgiving servants. And then this week, we turn our attention to another parable. Um, this one is uh, in Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 through 16, and this is what it is. It reads, For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he was about, uh, when he, he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And at about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, well, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now, when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take, take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. So this passage is continuing to try to stretch our moral imaginations uh, to understand that the economy of God's grace is a different kind of math than what you and I are taught are the way things should be or the way things have to be. And we hope you will join us this Sunday um, at 10 o'clock for worship as we uh, as we explore that a little bit a little bit deeper. As always, at nine o'clock we have breakfast in the Bible with our young disciples and their families. Worship at ten. Uh, adult Sunday school at about eleven fifteen after worship. Children's music at two, and then continuing to watch the the chosen. Um, season two at five o'clock in the fellowship hall so a lot going on this sunday a lot of different ways to get plugged in to the life of the church and i did want to make this this announcement um, this next week on saturday uh, september 30th we are having our ruth lamb enrichment series that we've been talking about um, for quite a while as we've been reading through this book called growing young six essential strategies to help young people discover and love your church. We are having a very special guest. Um, Dr. Andy Jung will be, um, will be with us. He works um, with the Fuller Youth Institute that commissioned the research that was the basis of this book. And he also serves um, as, a, uh, as a, a parish associate at a Baptist church in Raleigh for, for youth and young adults. So we hope that you will join us. If you haven't done so already, please register for that. It'll be Saturday. Um, registration will be at about uh, 9, 9 o'clock, and the event will begin at 9.30. So hope that you will join us with that and help us spread the word. Tell a friend, especially if you know any of your friends that go to other churches that might benefit from this conversation as well. Okay, y'all, have a wonderful week. Hope you'll join us this Sunday. And remember, there is room for you in the neighborhood. Take care, y'all. Bye.